Hi, my name is Jasmine Jawanda, and I wrote this piece of poetry and spoken word shortly after another girl was raped and murdered on the streets of India on Christmas Day 2013. It's called Ego Between His Legs. Another rape and murder of a girl in a country where girls are never given the chance to survive. Even in their mother's wombs, they die of female genocide. A vicious cultural circle with patriarchy at the center, placing any signs of femininity, sister solidarity, woman's equality at the periphery. It's an embarrassment to India's modernity. A permanent mark on her forehead, stained like the red bindi, a symbol of womanhood, is no longer what it is meant to be. As India stumbles and steps backwards with blood hennaed hands, murdering future female embryos whilst killing those walking in saris. What is the reason? Why the treason? For the crimes against humanity strangely walk freely on the streets of Delhi. As a culture turns a blind eye to another girl's cries, silenced by male hands, she dies. And I hear my own cries of why, why, why. The answers are deeply embedded in historical baggage with sexist carnage and gender bondage. In a country that worships the male, almost godlike, he walks with his thunder, ego between his legs. He rapes and kills. A win for his patriarchal victory is a country that still denies that womanhood is where they all come from. Yet, they kill the ones that feed them. With hunger in their eyes, another girl dies, whilst her mothers and sisters shed ganji like tears. With soulful cries, they wait for the Indian goddesses, Lakshmi, Durga, Kali, to one day save them. Thank you.